Do not hug, handshake, or high five claws has no concept of human fragility. All right, and welcome back, guys. Just like yesterday, we've got massive new information on the brand new Berlin map. We've kind of got a civil protector like blueprint for something that's going to be coming in the map. We've got a very small teaser kind of showing what the map's going to look like and an official date for the full gameplay trailer reveal. The first thing we're going to cover is this claws blueprint right here. And holy crap, there is a lot of information in this. Kind of looking at this, this looks like this is going to perform kind of like the civil protector. And it looks like it's the armor stand guy. So let me just go ahead and read through all of the version notes of this prototype. Latest version prototype has improved performance in several critical areas. Dramatic improvements to marksmanship. Hand-to-hand -hand combat has some significant improvements. Will now obey orders. Durability strength have been improved by 80%. Poor hardware, less resistant to modification and system updates. Outstanding issues, highly irritable. Still lashes out violently if provoked or when feeling self-conscious. Prone to mood swings resulting in an increase of unsolicited opinions and complaints when bored. Sometimes Claw's train of thought verges on accidental crisis advice. Don't let Claw's be alone in his thoughts for too long. Do not hug, handshake, or high five Claw's has no concept of human fragility. So yeah, here alone, we have a massive amount of information and kind of on stream what people were speculating. We're kind of thinking this is going to be an upgrade to the armor stand. So in the brand new Berlin map, we're going to have a newer version of the armor stand that is going to act like a civil protector. Not only is it going to be able to, you know, follow you around, obey orders, it's going to be able to shoot and help you out. Keep in mind, nothing's been completely confirmed exactly how this is going to work in game. But kind of my working speculation right now is you're going to go up to the armor stand in Berlin. It's going to work as normal. You're going to be able to buy everything you want but there's also going to be a different panel next to it that you're now going to be able to buy and it's going to make him get out of his little machine there and he's going to follow you around protect you do basic stuff like orders kind of like the civil protector did and you might even potentially be able to buy armor and upgrade your weapon on the go i mean if he's the armor stand guy and he's now following you around i mean he's even got an armor vest here if you're able to buy armor from this guy as you're traveling around the map that is going to be freaking huge. And if this does work like I think it does, I really hope they go back to the older maps, Firebase Z and D Machina, and kind of add this upgraded newer version of the armor stand into the map. That would be huge, and it would definitely improve those maps, because think about it. D Machina has one armor stand, and being able to kind of have this newer upgraded version of the armor stand would be a huge improvement to that map. And even Firebase Z, having him be able to walk around and protect you, would be really freaking cool. But on top of that, even at the top here, it says must deliver to Berlin safe house as soon as possible. So I do think that this is going to have a massive part of the Easter egg, just kind of like the civil protector did back in Black Ops 4. I think this is going to go hand in hand with the Easter egg and you're going to have to do stuff alongside this and have this help you with different steps to kind of finish and move along in the Berlin Easter egg. So yeah, this blueprint right here was the first set of information we got. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments below how you feel about this, how you think this is going to act in game and kind of what your hopes are for it when we actually get this. But moving on to the next thing, we got a little snippet of the full trailer that we are getting tomorrow. And the tweet itself reads off the Berlin gameplay trailer drops tomorrow. Here is just a taste. So it's a thousand percent confirmed we are getting a full gameplay trailer tomorrow and they did alongside that give us a four second trailer and we can go ahead and break this down there's some actual kind of cool and interesting stuff in just this four second part unfortunately it was uploaded only to twitter so it's a little bit blurry so some of the stuff we're going to be showing here it, it, it's not the highest quality but tomorrow we'll get the full quality one but with that being said, let's go ahead and break down everything we see in this lower quality four second trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the face cam and play the entire video through once on its own, just so you can see the trailer in its entirety. And then we're going to go through pause and break it down. All right, so there we go. Right off the bat in this trailer, the very first thing you see here is a power switch, which is super high. Maps with power switches are by far the most enjoyable maps. I did not like Firebase Z doing all three reactors, and that's one of the reasons I find myself not playing Firebase Z. Usually I'll just hop into D Machina because it's a lot easier. Just go ahead, turn on the stuff around the map. So yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a power switch. Who knows if this is gonna be the only way to turn on power, but this right here is a huge sign. Like I said, the best maps are the maps that just have a generic power switch to get power rolling. And here we are moving on to the next scene. And yes, this right here is the Mule Kick perk machine. And it definitely looks a lot different. Just like Deadshot, it is completely got revamped. This right here is an entire mule head on top of the perk machine. 
That's ridiculous. I mean, it's got guns sticking out of it. We unfortunately do not get a front angle of the mule kick machine. All we really see is this side angle, but we can tell there's a mule on the top and it's got the gun sticking out just from the side angle. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, it was already confirmed we're getting mule kick. No new information there, but I do love to see when these perk machines get an entire revamp. As for the rest of the scene down here, there's not really any more information to gather. It's just really kind of a subway. We've got kind of bodies with arrows in it. This is kind of interesting. Same thing here, but with how blurry it is, there's not really a lot to see. It looks like the train station that we keep seeing in the intro. But besides that, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Once again, we get kind of this upper city view here. And there's a few things we can note here. One, you see a zip line across here. We just get a better angle of that. So yeah, you can kind of see it once again, kind of blurry, unfortunately. I think this is going to be a playable part of the map. I think we're going to be able to go from up here, zip line across, and this is also going to be playable. If I take away the face cam, you can actually see some purple lettering in this area, and this might be a power symbol. I think this might be another area we're actually able to go in. It definitely looks like some sort of warding, but with the quality of the trailer, we can't really tell. And even with those two things, there's another thing way in the back here. These look like electric zombies kind of in a circle formation way in the back. If we kind of go back through and pause through it again, going through frame by frame, those are definitely something glowing back there. And it looks like zombie like th that right there looks like a zombie player model to me. So we've got zombies kind of with this electricity effect in a circular formation way out here. And I I don't even know that's gonna be a playable part of the map out there. That is, dude, there's so much to take in from this. And I have no idea to even speculate what that could possibly be. Like, what could that possibly be? The only thing I can even potentially think of these actually being is kind of the special zombie for the map, but that would end up being a lot like the Tempest we see in Outbreak. There's not a whole lot different if these are kind of electric zombies, but I mean, who knows? Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think these could be and what's going on with these electrified zombies in a circular formation on the outside of the map here. And then at the very end of the trailer, we get one more image just for a split second if we go back here. And this right here to me, looks like the device that you would use to kind of activate to spawn in claws in the map to follow you around. You've got kind of a health gauge here, a few other little knobs and dials and stuff. So to me, I think this is gonna be near an armor stand. You're gonna be able to activate it. It's gonna spawn them in. He's gonna continue to help you out through the map for kind of a limited time go back and once again, you have to pay for them just like the civil protector. Keep in mind all that speculation. We really don't know what's going on. All we know is Claus is gonna be in this map in some way, shape or form. And that this is also gonna be in the map. That's just kind of me putting it together, thinking about how it's gonna work. But definitely let me know your opinions, how you think this could potentially work and how you think the Claus is gonna kind of be integrated with the map and pretty much everything else we've covered in it. That's gonna be it for this video, boys. Appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end and we are getting the full trailer tomorrow. I'm gonna be live streaming when the full trailer comes out, so make sure you're following me on Twitch and YouTube if you wanna see that and watch that together and get our reactions. But uh, I'm excited. This right here was just a four second teaser of the full trailer reveal we're getting tomorrow. Hopefully we're gonna see the wonder weapon, mule kick, maybe some tears of mule kick. There is so much that I am just excited to see tomorrow and hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys there. And as always, even if you missed the live stream, I will have a full kind of broken down version on the channel. But yeah, that's it for this one, boys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I want to take the last moment to thank anyone who's became a YouTube member or a Twitch sub and an extra special thanks to those who have taken it above and beyond. We've got Chef, aka Chief, aka Classified. We've got the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Yamasta. And my friend with the most stable PS5 ever, DX2069. All of these people have become Unlock++ members on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. True homies.